So right now, um, I'm going to call upon the evaluator for... Okay, this one, it has... Uh, Three evaluator. Three evaluator. Yeah. Call Ken first. <laughs> yes, I would like to call upon Ken for to give his uh, two minutes of yes. evaluation. <coughs> Ken. So, fellow committees, audience of the viewers, do you really enjoy for the banner key show? Yes. yes. Now, this is a very tricky part. How do you engage the audience or the viewers, please? Now, imagine you are sitting down, watching your TV or taking out a smartphone, then you see, hey, how to improve body language. This is a very broad topic because it's very relatable to everybody. Now, what I detect from this video is that it is meant for everybody to watch, from kids to all the way to all people. So it's meant for everybody. Now, in terms of how they did their transition, I find they are absolutely smooth when Seki and Ben are communicating. They know each slide, the sequence, the flow, the way they interact with each other. There's no much flaw in it. Even though this is put in the live show, they can manage to do it very well. This is a very interesting trick that I discovered from them. So that is a very good job well done. Nextly, is that their friendliness and pleasantness in their presentation. Body, although they are teaching you body language, their body language in displaying or portraying this TV show is very friendly, very nicely. Hand gestures, their facial expression, their smile can easily capture or make people feel really nice or even children feel really nice when watching the show. That is a very good plus one I must give to them. Now, they appear very relaxed, very confident, very posh. So this is something I would have bad to comment on it. Now, I want to improve some of your body language in this TV show. Now, I realize some part of the stage control. When Seki and Ben are communicating, when Ben's turn communicating, Seki is just standing right here, like not much usage of it. So somehow, perhaps he can step out of the viewer point of view. So that is much appropriate. Similar applies to Ben. When ben, Seki is explaining the word A action, Ben is sitting over here, that not much action. His time is not yet up. So that is the very key thing, the key point. Although today we have one camera only shooting you, but you must use the stage time very appropriately. If from a viewer point of view, the other audience, the audience see the other person is not doing anything, somehow they can easily get distracted from it. So you must know that each time, whose turn is about to stay over it and whose turn is about to step out of the stage. So that is a key thing that I want to share to you. Other than all, I fully benefit from the Banner Key show. So hopefully, you can grab some tips from how for me to do a good show. Back to you. <laughs> Manish? Manish. 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 Did you see the P's here? Yes. P for posture, posture. expression, action, and stress. And pod, pod is a public speaking. So, all these are important parts in public speaking. This, this is where I said P is in a pod. My answer to the questions given in the evaluation sheet, I would say the speech was very well organized. And I enjoyed the whole presentation as a web video. The purpose was to send the information to the audience to train about public speaking and especially importance of gesture in speaking. It was totally good, very good. But now I would like to talk about to improve this video. And I have few pointers to do that. The first thing I would like to say to create a strong purpose in the audience mind why this is important, why gestures are important in speaking, to convince your talk, something like this. So begin with that. And then in the closing, you could also close, this is why we need gestures in the speaking. This could uh, create a greater impact to my opinion. 
Second few more pointers are, in terms of dressing sense I observe in the video, it could be better if you could be dressed as Ben or Ben could be dressed as you. Nothing wrong. Otherwise it was a bit misleading. I would like to highlight here points in terms of slide preparation. In the slide I observed, you talked about the posture. And in the image, in the image, there were very images, so many images. When you talk about one image, you know this image should not come, or that image. I mean, you are talking about you should be straight. You start, you start straight. So you should either you should point, or you should have pointer to point. And since I'm running out of time, I may not give you enough suggestions more here, but I enjoyed the presentation. Upon Casey to give his evaluation. Thank you, Madam General Director. Um, <coughs> ben and Seki, thank you very much for your very informational speech, and I believe this is very relevant to every one of us in the, watching the video because. I love that uh, the, the speech that you gave on the video, you emphasize the PAS to the audience. It makes the audience very easy to remember when they watch your video. And after talking about the PAS, you actually repeat them so that they will remember. That was a very good point. Posture with diagram. I like the diagram when you show the posture by the side view. So you can show all the different portions which are not correct and there's one that's uh, the right one. I also like the way Seiki and Ben was asking questions to each other because when you are doing a video especially you are talking as though as you are talking to a to a wall if you're doing it alone. But then when you are having two person in the video asking the question, it actually reminds the audience who are watching the video, this question are being asked to, to, to him, and he will also try to start answering the question. And immediately your answers start coming up about all the body gesture, the right body gesture, to, to teach them how to do a, the right body gesture in the public, public speaking. As for improvement, I may suggest you, Seki and Ben, I, I found that both of you have a different tone. Seki has a very much higher tone compared to Ben. So mm. both of you are, are not at the same, same level. I believe Seki is a little bit higher because he may be trying to address the audience on the floor rather than to the video. And objective. The, when, when you first started the objective showing on the slides, it was a bit too fast and the audience may not be able to catch the, the, the objective of watching the video. So that may have been missed. And because this is a live, live uh, video, if you are Doing on the web, I believe this can be improved uh, very much on the slide when you are doing it in sync with the message. In, there were some hiccups in the beginning when the slide was being played. You say something when the slide has already showed something that you are supposed to say. So it's a bit fast on the slide doing. Overall, I like the the Torah, I like the body gesture learning from both of you and I believe everyone in the audience who watched the video have learned a lot from you guys. Thank you very much. Actually I learned a lot from your speech. It's very interesting, it relates to all of us in a Toastmasters journey. 
So the second speaker is Q, right? And I would like to invite the second, uh, the evaluator T Kai. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. We feel sleepy when we get bored. But sleeping is a very interesting topic because we spend one third of our life in sleeping. I like your humorous opening. <laughs> your speech is very well organized and we get benefit from your speech. And I can remember very well about the three solutions that you give to the audience. Number one, use blue light filter. Number two, 90 minutes alarm, which is <coughs> something very new to me. And number three, meditation. And tonight, I will start using blue light filter because I like to use my handphone before sleep. And it keep me relaxed when using handphone. Probably I won't try 90 minutes alarm because I, I prefer long sleep and meditation, I probably I will try. This meant 90 minutes cycle. Oh, okay. So, 6 hours, 9 hours, 7 and a half years. Uh, there, there's one thing that I notice you probably can improve is some uh, a little minor effort that you, you can improve, maybe a little bit of awareness. I feel like you are repeating your gesture, like you, you like to do this way. Uh, when you are saying three topics, number one, number two, <laughs> three, you are repeating the same thing. You, you probably can use a finger like showing one, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> and probably, probably I'm guessing so because you are holding a pen and <coughs> it limited your gesture and you want to hold, it, hold the pen and you want to put your finger into certain numbers so it probably limited your gesture. Your overall speech is very clear and you use very well tone and your speed is perfect, I can un understand very clear, it's good enough. You have eye contact around with the audience and I can remember very clear about your content. I believe everyone else does. And you are very comfortable on the stage. Your topic is very interesting. And I will use it. That means it's very useful. <laughs> That's all about my evaluation. Thank okay, you. Thank you. We'll go back to use the blue light as well. Yeah. I don't like to sleep. I don't want to waste time on sleeping. Yes, I second Let's that. say for me, I, second that. I have six six hours is enough for me. Because I, I know that time is limited now. That's why I use full use of my time. But this is all individual, but of course sleeping is very important. Yeah? Okay. I would like all of you to give a round of applause to all the The last speaker who is uh, Eddie, okay, is uh, right now we are we we will open evaluation. Before I call upon anyone who are ready to evaluate, may I start? Yes. I really went into deeper and I can visualize how you feel about this Uncle GB. So, uh, just want to tell you a personal story about my dad. My dad was uh, the leg, the right leg has been uh, amputated. Okay, for the last, I think last last week. Now it was happened very very sudden. So this thing is like, you know, so that's why I said relate that what he was saying when he was staying in a home. Nobody that come and see him. But we are very lucky. My dad very lucky. Because all of us went and see him. 
even I know I'm very busy, but I make my time. I know this is what we have to do about our loved ones. So this is not what you all got to make effort, especially to see the person that is still alive, although, although they are not fit anymore. So the love that you show it to them is very, very important. Huh? Yes. So this is, I really can visualize and I, I can feel exactly how you relate in your sharing. That's very good because the message is to let all of us know. Time is limited, love your loved ones and be share whatever that you can call or even make a trip a surprise you know, a trip back to see your, especially your parents, right? Okay, so may I invite anyone who wants to come and do the evaluation?